here we are to worship. We're so used to standing with each other and singing with all our hearts and our, and our voices rally each other and encourage each other. But now we find ourselves looking at a screen and it seems difficult to be a solitary voice or just a couple of family members. We may even feel like somehow we're on the outside looking in rather than being a part of worship. I think we know that worship isn't just singing a song. Although the words guide our thoughts of God, worship really is a choice to interact with God, with our body, soul and spirit. It's us choosing to acknowledge His goodness, His mercy, His love, His greatness, His power, His authority, His rule as King over all, His beauty and His wisdom and His presence. The psalmist says in chapter 34, Lord, I'm bursting with joy over what you've done for me. My lips are full of perpetual praise. I'm boasting of you and all your works. And then he goes on to say, join me everyone. Let's praise the Lord together. Let's make him famous. Let's make his name glorious to all. Let's pray. Lord God, this morning we want to worship you and to honour you. You reign and rule. You are God alone. There is no one like you. We love you and want to thank you for all that you've done in our lives.
Let your